Bismarck is a, is a quantum leap for the Germans, and no, no question. Bismarck is as capable as anything that the British have got. The abyss guards its secrets fiercely, but sometimes technology tears back the veil. The Bismarck, a titan of naval warfare, sank into the North Atlantic in 1941, its story seemingly sealed. Bismarck is a very impressive warship. She's by no means the best battleship of her generation, but she is extremely dangerous. However, a new deep sea LIDAR expedition has yielded astonishing results. Sensors pierce the murk, revealing a massive angular structure, unlike any part of the original vessel or damage from its fiery end. This isn't a trick of light or a natural rock formation. To put it mildly, it's a baffling artifact a clear and present object that fundamentally challenges our understanding of the wreck. This impossible find promises to unravel a maritime enigma. Beyond Expectations Over the years, numerous expeditions have visited the Bismarck, capturing incredible images and gathering data. Submersibles have navigated its deck, revealing the sheer scale of the damage and the incredible preservation of certain sections in the cold, dark depths. Engineers, historians, and enthusiasts alike have studied every available inch of the wreckage, piecing together the final moments of this colossal warship. They've examined the massive torpedo damage, the gaping shell holes, and the way the ship settled on the abyssal plain. You see, the Bismarck was not just any vessel. It was a symbol of German naval power, and its loss was a significant blow. Its story was thought to be complete, a tragic but well-understood chapter in naval history. But not all things are what they seem, even in the deepest, most thoroughly explored corners of our planet. Recently, a cutting-edge deep-sea LIDAR scan was deployed to conduct an unprecedented, high-resolution survey of the Bismarck wreck. LIDAR, or light detection and ranging, uses pulsed laser light to measure distances. This advanced technology creates incredibly detailed three-dimensional maps of underwater environments, far beyond what traditional sonar or even direct visual observation can achieve. The goal was to provide an even more granular understanding of the wreck's condition, perhaps revealing smaller, previously unnoticed details. What many overlooked is just how revolutionary this kind of scanning can be. The research team, comprised of marine archaeologists, deep-sea engineers, and naval historians, meticulously processed terabytes of data. They expected to see the familiar contours of the Bismarck, its 2,500-foot length, its massive turrets, its distinctive superstructure now flattened by the immense pressure of the ocean. They anticipated clearer images of the damage consistent with historical accounts the British torpedoes, the intense shell fire, the scuttling charges. What they absolutely did not expect was the glaring anomaly that appeared in the precise LIDAR point cloud data. Deep within the wreckage, near the stern section, the LIDAR scans identified a structure that caused immediate alarm. It wasn't a random piece of twisted metal, nor was it a natural geological feature. This was a distinct, geometrically regular object roughly 40 feet long and 10 feet wide, integrated surprisingly well into the surrounding debris field. Its edges were sharp, its angles precise, and its material composition, indicated by the LIDAR's reflectivity, suggested something different from the Bismarck's hardened steel hull. The most shocking fact is that this object appeared to be made of an unknown non-ferrous alloy, a material not found on the Bismarck or any World War II-era battleship. Many people are crazy about finding mysteries, and this discovery quickly overshadowed all other findings. This anomaly was too large, too distinct, and too perfectly formed to be dismissed as a random artifact of destruction or marine growth. Its integration with the existing wreckage suggested it had been there for a significant period, but its very existence defied every historical record and engineering specification of the Bismarck. The initial reaction among the team, to put it mildly, was utter disbelief. This object should not exist. It challenged the very narrative of the Bismarck's final hours, raising more questions than answers about what truly transpired over 80 years ago. The researchers double-checked their equipment, recalibrated the LIDAR systems, and re-ran the scans multiple times. Each pass confirmed the baffling presence of this unknown structure. Its location was especially perplexing, nestled among the propeller shafts and rudder mechanisms, areas that should have been purely battleship components. The discovery created a buzz, a quiet yet urgent whisper of something extraordinary. 
It forces us to reconsider the entire incident. Could there be a missing piece to the Bismarck's tragic story? The implications were profound. If this object was not part of the Bismarck's original design, nor a result of the naval engagement, where did it come from? Was it something brought down with the ship, an unknown cargo or experimental component? Or more dramatically, could it have been introduced to the wreck after its sinking, perhaps by an unrecorded, highly advanced deep sea operation? The ocean's depths are vast and full of secrets, but for a wreck this famous, this thoroughly investigated, a discovery of this magnitude is simply mind-blowing. The immediate concern became understanding the nature and origin of this impossible structure, setting off a new quest for answers. This strange finding on the Bismarck wreck suggests that the ocean still holds incredible game-changing secrets. Deep Sea Secrets the initial LIDAR data provided a precise three-dimensional model of the mysterious object. Its geometric lines were sharp, almost too perfect for a structure found amidst the twisted metal of a sunken battleship. The dimensions, approximately 40 feet long, 10 feet wide, and about 8 feet high, suggested a substantial component, not a minor piece of equipment. The reflective properties indicated a density and composition far different from the iron and steel that dominated the Bismarck's hull. What many overlooked is that these subtle differences in reflectivity are crucial for LIDAR analysis, hinting at the material's atomic structure. This wasn't just a curiosity, it was a technological enigma. Naval historians immediately pointed out that no blueprints or historical accounts of the Bismarck, or indeed any other major warship of that era, included such a feature. The ship's construction records, meticulously kept by the German Kriegsmarine, detailed every rivet, every plate, and every piece of equipment. There was no mention of an experimental module, a classified cargo container, or anything resembling this structure. The thing nobody tells you is how detailed these historical records often are, making the absence of this object even more perplexing. Furthermore, the British intelligence, who had extensively studied the Bismarck, never reported any such unusual modifications or additions. One leading theory among the researchers quickly centered on the possibility of a previously unknown, highly advanced deep-sea vehicle or apparatus. But if so, who operated it and for what purpose? The wreck of the Bismarck has been largely undisturbed since its sinking, aside from the scientific expeditions. The pressures at nearly 15,000 feet are immense, over 6,000 pounds per square inch, enough to crush even modern submarines not specifically designed for such depths. Deploying and maneuvering a vehicle capable of leaving such a precise, integrated structure would require technology far beyond what was publicly known in the mid-20th century and, indeed, even some 21st century capabilities. And you can see this everywhere when comparing deep-sea technologies across eras. Another speculative yet intriguing idea explored was whether this object could be part of a highly classified experimental weapon or defensive system from World War II. Germany was known for its groundbreaking, sometimes outlandish, technological pursuits during the war. Could the Bismarck have been carrying a secret device, perhaps an early form of sonar countermeasure or an experimental propulsion unit that somehow detached or became more prominent after the ship's destruction? However, the material composition detected by the LIDAR scans, suggesting a non-ferrous alloy, made this unlikely for the period. Most experimental weapons of that era still relied heavily on steel and other common metals. The LIDAR's ability to penetrate the murky water and reconstruct the environment in such fine detail is itself a marvel. It can map areas where conventional cameras struggle, providing structural integrity assessments and revealing objects hidden by sediment or surrounding debris. This is how the anomalous structure was even identified, not by chance, but by systematic, high-resolution mapping. The sheer volume of data measured in terabytes allowed for the identification of patterns that human eyes might miss or that even advanced sonar couldn't resolve. This isn't just taking a picture, it's building a digital twin of the wreck, millimeter by millimeter. The team also considered the immense forces involved in the Bismarck's sinking. The ship was hit by hundreds of shells and multiple torpedoes, then likely scuttled by its crew. The hull fractured and large sections separated as it descended. Could this anomaly be a result of an extreme, unforeseen deformation of the ship's own structure or the impact of external forces during its plunge? 
The geometric regularity of the object, however, strongly argued against this. Twisted metal usually forms irregular, chaotic shapes, not precise, angular structures. The most shocking fact is that its integration seemed almost intentional, not accidental. This discovery on the Bismarck wreck now represents one of the most compelling deep-sea mysteries of our time. It's not a blurry image or a fleeting glimpse. It's solid LiDAR data, confirming the presence of an object that seems utterly out of place, time, and known technology. This pushes the boundaries of historical understanding and deep-sea exploration, forcing experts to confront a baffling piece of evidence. The ocean, it seems, still holds its cards close, revealing them only when technology, and perhaps destiny, allows. The question then becomes, what other secrets lie hidden? Waiting for advanced technology to expose them? Whispers of the impossible. The deep sea, to put it mildly, is the Earth's last true frontier, holding more secrets than all the land masses combined. Over 80% of our oceans remain unexplored, a vast expanse of crushing pressures, eternal darkness, and unimaginable life forms. It's a place where evolution has taken bizarre and wondrous turns and where the remnants of human endeavors, like the Bismarck, are preserved in a perpetual twilight. This new LiDAR scan of the Bismarck wreck not only revealed an impossible object, but also shone a light on the sheer scale of the unknown that still exists. Consider the immense challenges of deep sea exploration. The equipment must withstand pressures hundreds of times greater than at the surface. Remote operated vehicles, or ROVS, and autonomous underwater vehicles, or AUVS, are marvels of engineering designed to navigate treacherous terrain, gather samples, and capture data. The LiDAR system used for the Bismarck survey was one of the most advanced ever deployed, capable of scanning vast areas with microscopic precision. This level of detail is what allowed the anomaly to stand out so clearly, almost screaming its incongruity from the data. Many people are crazy about exploring the unknown, and this incident perfectly highlights why that drive is so important. The persistent nature of the anomalous object, its clear geometric shape, and its distinct material signature have led some experts to cautiously consider unconventional explanations. While no credible scientist would jump to conclusions, the data forces them to expand their thinking beyond conventional naval history or known deep-sea phenomena. The thing nobody tells you is that when faced with truly inexplicable data, even the most rigorous scientific minds must entertain possibilities that initially seem far-fetched. This isn't about wild speculation, but about acknowledging the limits of current knowledge. For example, the sheer size and apparent integration of the object could suggest a deliberate placement rather than random debris. If it was placed there, by whom and when? The Bismarck sank in 1941. Deep sea technology capable of such an operation even for military purposes didn't exist in a publicly acknowledged form until decades later. The very idea of an unrecorded deep-sea operation of such magnitude, especially involving a wreck as high-profile as the Bismarck, seems almost impossible. Yet the LiDAR data does not lie. There is an object, and it demands an explanation. And you can see this everywhere, how scientific discovery pushes against established paradigms. The material composition, highlighted by the LiDAR's multispectral capabilities, is particularly baffling. While detailed chemical analysis would require physical samples, the LiDAR's unique reflectivity suggests an alloy that's not only non-ferrous, but also unusually resistant to corrosion and pressure. This points towards advanced metallurgy, far beyond the capabilities of the 1940s. The most shocking fact is that even today, producing such alloys for large-scale underwater structures at extreme depths remains a significant engineering feat. This isn't just about finding something unexpected, it's about finding something technologically advanced. What many overlooked is the potential for naturally occurring, yet incredibly rare, geological formations to mimic artificial structures. The deep ocean floor is home to hydrothermal vents, mineral deposits, and volcanic structures that can sometimes exhibit surprising symmetries. However, the context of the Bismarck wreck, resting on a relatively flat abyssal plain, and the specific geometric regularity of the object make a natural explanation highly improbable. It's not just a rock, it's shaped. 
This distinction is critical for the researchers grappling with the puzzle. The deep-sea LIDAR scan of the Bismarck wreck has not just uncovered a mystery, it has opened a door to a new understanding of what might be hidden in the unexplored regions of our planet. It compels us to question our assumptions about history, technology, and the capabilities of forces, known or unknown, operating in the depths. This object is a stark reminder that even the most thoroughly documented events can harbor incredible, paradigm-shifting secrets. The search for answers continues, driving further expeditions and more intense scrutiny of the LIDAR data. This LIDAR anomaly on the Bismarck wreck shatters expectations. Could our understanding of deep sea history be fundamentally flawed? Like and subscribe to join us as we chase these ocean mysteries.